children that consumed this Unimix. That would have been fine. Public Health Minister Beth Mugu admitting that over 200,000 school-going children in Kenya were at risk of developing liver cancer after consuming contaminated Unimix, which is an enriched maize and soya beans flour used to fight malnutrition. The Kenya Red Cross distributed the Unimix to the schools at the coast, Lower Eastern, Upper Eastern, North Eastern, and North Rift regions. A total of 726 schools with a population of 274,375 pupils had received the Unimix. While an emergency had risen in Kenya and children needed to be fed to save them from starvation in one of Africa's worst droughts, a harmful batch of Unimix was distributed through the Kenyans for Kenya initiative by the Kenya Red Cross. The Unimix milled by Procter and Allen was laced with aflatoxin and may have been given to starving children and which has elicited concerns from members of parliament. 274,000 children in five provinces of this country are at the risk of liver cancer, Mr. Speaker. It's a serious matter, Mr. Speaker. Yes, and the minister is taking it very casually. The speaker is a cover-up. What de facto medical preemptive measures you have taken to ensure that these long-term risks are minimized? Our surveillance system has not confirmed any case of aflatoxin uh, poisoning yet. What then for parents whose children may have consumed the contaminated Unimix to look out for symptoms? These include jodies, vomiting, abdominal pain, and swollen limbs. Order, order. <laughs> and as the debate intensified, the issue of the directors of the said companies who milled the Unimix was raised. Could the minister confirm whether Mr. Abbas Gulit the Secretary General of Kenya Red Cross is one of the directors of these companies that seems to be briefcase. I haven't taken myself interest in that. I really don't know who are the directors. According to Mugo, 183 tons of Unimix has since been seized with the question of at what point was the food contaminated remaining hazy. It is impossible, Mr. Speaker, for the minister to tell us that all the 274 children across the country were tested. The debate may have come to a halt Wednesday, but the fear about what could possibly befall thousands of children who consumed the condemned Unimix remains. Judicos Gay, Citizen Live at Nine.